I joined this congregation because I feel welcome and I am um, blessed by hearing the word of God by Pastor Molly. Looking down from heaven's throne, the world seems insane. They take the precious name of God and speak it in vain. Salam. Magandang umaga po. Bonjour. Good morning. Welcome to our church. And today, indeed, is a very special Sunday because we have come to worship God. Montreal Japanese United Church was founded shortly after World War II. Interned Canadians of Japanese ancestry moved to Montreal and founded a congregation. Over the years, the founders have grown older. There are only about a dozen left and their children have moved to other cities. We were married in the church and uh, all our children were baptized in this church also. Today, what proportion of Japanese would you say is in the church? Well, actually, today there's only 12 active members. And of that, the youngest of the men are 84. And I'm 80, so you can see that um, Unfortunately, with the passing of time, we lose a lot of people, and many have retired in Toronto or moved to be with their children. So the future for our church must be getting other groups to join us. Otherwise, we would have to close, because with 12 active members, it's very difficult to carry on church, church work. Although. All of us are very deeply involved in all the activities. Molly Mangana is originally from the Philippines. He has been pastor to the congregation at the Montreal Japanese United Church for eight years. We'd like to thank you, Lord, for reminding us that we can come together as one. Since I came here in this church, we are doing that kind of uh, tradition. Uh, for me, it's not only reading, but it is actually sharing your, your language, your song. And for me, song speaks beyond language, you know, uh, especially the Pakistani songs. They're very expressive in their thanks and in their emotions. Uh, it's uh, very nice. Uh, you don't have to understand everything. You just uh, listen and you will know the intention of their hearts uh, and it's very beautiful uh, for me i really enjoyed it I would say that uh, there are a lot of things to be happy with and uh, seeing people coming together as one from different cultures, you see different colors. And I would say that this is uh, the design of God for all of us, to come together as one without discrimination. But uh, at the same time, there are also challenges for a minister to work in that community. You have to understand also their cultural boundaries. And so you have to walk in the thin line. Uh, sometimes uh, there are cultures uh, defined outside of a Christian tradition. So you have to understand that. Otherwise, uh, the community that I am working uh, here in Montreal Japanese United Church, I am very happy because people really accept one another in spite of their cultural differences. We just want to you know, stick to this. And my our children are grown uh, like they were baptized here. They're grown up here, and I hope they are continuous like their uh, own um, our grandchildren. They just continue this tradition and come in this church. And we love this, especially the uh, 
like a closeness with all the community, dis despite of our uh, diverse uh, background, dif diverse languages, we overcome of that and we just come hugging each other, meeting each other. That's lovable about it, this place. Pastor Molly Mangana has a few ideas for other congregations. Yes, yeah, just open your doors. Expect people, if they are from China or from Japan, Filipinos, expect them to act the way they are and don't uh, try to change them. I, I think that is the most important thing. We don't want to change people here. We celebrate their diversity, our diversity and differences. We don't uh, fight over it. We celebrate it. <laughs>